Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, Debbie. Hello. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's the 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 weather is uh is uh I don't know beautiful like a beautiful right? Yes, it's not it's <laughs> not very um. I remember when I was a teenager. <laughs> yes, today is not hot. So yeah, that's good. good. Yeah, it, well, good. It, it's not cold, but it's not hot. Yeah, suddenly, earthquake. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Only God knows why. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. It happens. Let me check one thing here. Hold on, give me one second. I'm opening the. I'm opening the material we're going to use today. And it's here. Hold on, pre avanzado. Let me open this. Here you go, okay. All right, let's start. Somebody new today? No. Everybody was here yesterday, correct? Yes. Okay, let's start. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. So you are pre avanzado modulo tres, right? Yes. So let's start. Let's rock and roll. Let's do this. We're going to do all this in one month. So we have here intro video. All right, um, da, 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 da. let's watch the video. We're about to begin a new course. We Can you hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. yes. okay, so let's listen to this. We want you to keep on learning. So stay and watch the first intro video we have for you. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because 
scary stories freak me out. Well, don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over. But she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Our man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead, bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore. Really? But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Did you understand the video? Yes. That's similar to videos that used to be in El Salvador, like remember. <laughs> Do you know any famous, any famous vid, um, stories like that? You know those stories that, oh, there's a legend that this woman comes out in the street, two men, and she starts crying. And she's very beautiful, very beautiful. And she attracts men. And when 
men get close, suddenly she's ugly. That's Iwanawa, right? Iwanawa. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't remember what what does the Siwanava actually do? Does she kill the men or or do you remember? They become crazy now. Okay, so men become crazy after they see mm -hmm. her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's true. Maybe Siwanava does exist. <laughs> I have a neighbor that she's very ugly. She looks like a Siwanawa. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, let me see. So this was a scary, scary story, supposedly, right? Yes, no? Yes, yes. it was a scary. Okay. So let's see what's next. So it says, lesson objective. In this class, participant will listen to a conversation where time clauses are used in context. Do you know what is a clause? Yes. What is a clause? It's a group of words that contain a subject and a verb. OK. Do you see my screen right now? Yes. Yeah. What do you see? Do you see clause? Clause. OK. So listen, a clause. Yeah, that was very good. It says, a unit of grammatical organizations next below the sentence and rank traditional grammar said to consist of blah, blah. I would say a particular and separate article, quotation, permutation. No, I don't like that example. Let's say, let's say, let's look at another one. I guess that I like this one better. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words or words that function as one part of a speech that includes a subject and a verb. Very good explanation. Saber si aquí de aquí la sacó. No, okay. Look, this is what I recommend to you. I don't like this explanation, but it's correct. A unit of grammatical organization next below the sentence in a rank that is traditional. That's too, too technical, man. I am a little more fácil. I like this one better. Grammar monster. A class is a group of words that function as one part of a speech that includes a subject and a verb. Snow Simon. Uh, the boy who has autism is the group leader. Okay, the, the, the reason why I'm asking you, please remember what a clause is because you will see from now on many things. Excuse me, you will see time clause. You will see many clauses, but we understand that a clause is that it's a group of words that has a subject and a verb. So for example, when, you, when, you, when we say a time clause, hmm, guess what, what do you think a time clause is, Nuri? Close. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is a clause, Nuri? <laughs> a clause is a group of words that contain a a subject and a verb. Uh, Excellent, yes. okay. So what do you think is a time clause? Or give me an example of a time clause. Um, I don't remember right now. Okay, no problem. Let's say when I eat pupusas, I drink hot chocolate. What describes the time in that in that clause? When? When, exactly. I see the simplest. The clause is the, 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 the subject and the verb. 
But when it's a time clause, that means we need a word or a name that describes a time. Sundays, I go to church. Sundays, I eat sopa de pata, you know, et cetera. That's a time clause. So please remember what a clause is because you will see a lot of this. You will see a lot of grammar. Le bon pays, okay, this is a clause, this is a clause. And this is a very good web page, meaning Grammar Monster. What is a verb? Here are a list of verbs. Uh, see, look at all the examples you have here, your levels. So whenever you have, um, I recommend you, I recommend you um, to always look for the easy explanation. La de Google. <laughs> the Google one is very technical. A unit, grammatical organization, next below the sentence in rank in the traditional grammar said to consist of a subject and a predicate. You understand? It doesn't say yes. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so in this lesson, it says in this class, partic uh, participants will listen to a conversation where time clauses are used in context. So, okay, now we have an idea. We 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 have an idea because we understand what is a clause. So let's see if we, we know what is a time clause. Okay, let's listen to the lady here. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what hear? made Carol and Alan change. Yes. Okay. Yes. I was really yes. immature. Part A, listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? So, if I say, when I was a little kid, I played with toys. Is that a time clause? Yes. Yes. So, what is the subject? I. 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 Very good. What is the verb? Was. Was. Actually, I played. Play. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, in this case, I played is the main verb, but yes, was is a verb too. And why, why is it a time clause? 
When? When? Because I said a time word. Very good. Okay. So what do you think is an if clause? Who can give me an example of an if clause? I will learn English if I study. Very good. Yes. Or if I study, I will learn English. Good. If you go outside, use a mask. Así de simple as if clause. So desde aquí en adelante, cuando vean un clause, like, hmm, a conditional clause. What is that? We understand what is a clause. So we, oh, so look for the condition. That's, that's it, it's very simple. Okay, so let me see. By the end of this, okay, do you have any questions right now with clause? Do you have any questions? No. All right, good, no questions. So 1.2, lesson objective. It says, by the end of this lesson, participants will learn to use subordinating conjunctions. What is that? Let's see. So how were you like when you were younger? Sorry, Listen to the conversation. Knowledge check, I'm sorry. Match the clauses with the appropriate information. Choose the best answer. By the time I was 15, what do you think is the correct one? I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. How, what do you think this is? By the time I was 15, I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. I learned how to communicate better. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. I had learned how to take care of myself. I learned how to get along better with people. I had never saved any money. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. What do you think it says? I hadn't understood the importance of good health. Okay, that's possible. Is there anything else? Okay, I have 17, 16 people in this class and nobody's speaking. Remember I told you yesterday, if you don't participate, you have to practice English. You need to learn English, not study. You need to participate. Yes, is I have never save, saved any money. Okay, I have never saved any money. But you know what? To be honest, many are acceptable because by the time I was 15, yeah. <laughs> but I think let's I try think this one. What I about would this? Say one? That I wasn't a child anymore. Yeah, may, let's try that one because I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Because it makes it makes sense, you know. It's like I remember when I was a little kid, my mother used to buy me the happy meal at McDonald's. But when I was 13 or 14, she stopped. And I realized that, oh, my God, I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that's what, maybe let's try this. But it's OK. I think all of them are good. Let me see this. Until. Until I started working part time. What do you think this is? I began to understand the value of money. I think 
Yeah, I, to... I agree. Okay, good. I began to understand the value of money. What happens after until? Continue. Yes, but everything changes. Uh -huh. Yes. So mm -hmm. until I started working part time, I I began to understand the value of money. So that means before I didn't. Yeah. Yes. I think that <laughs> it's a game. I had never saved any money. Yes. I still don't understand. No, I now I understand the value of money, but I can't. <laughs> I can't control it. <laughs> what about you? Um, Kalena Martel, you're married, correct? Yes, I'm married. When did you have a boyfriend? With permission. I was 16 years old. But with permission with your father and mother? Yes. yes. Okay, so you can say... Until I was 16, mm. I could have a boyfriend. Yes, until I, my husband is until. nearby me. <laughs> oh. oh, no, but it's okay. It's past. It's the past. Yes, it's the past. <laughs> yes. No, no, but you know, the reason why I ask you that is because maybe you had a boyfriend when you were 14, 15 secretly, but until I was 16, uh, it's like me, like, um, with permission, yeah, I understand yes. your question. Oh. It's like until I was an adult, I started drinking beer in my house with my mom. But before that, no, when I was a teenager, my mother, no, don't drink, don't drink, don't drink. Until I was an adult. You did until, it. Yes, I did it anyway. <laughs> but until I was an adult, um, you know, I had no problem like, and I had a beer with my mom. So that's that's the explanation of, of until. You know, usually women or men, when you are in love, you say, oh man, I was so happy until I met you. <laughs> you know, when you break up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, I was happy until I met you. Or al revés, I was so sad, I was lost until I met you, until I met you, now I am happy. Huh. All right, oh, well, give me an example of until. Um, Rafael Garcia, give me an example of until. Until I start. Um, Until I start the university, I I had never Rafael. I understand, but uh, don't complicate yourself very much. You know, like until I started the university, I started going to many bars. <laughs> or yes or no, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before no it was only la tiendita right but until no. you started at the <laughs> university is like a different world yeah yeah when you you go out in with friends with friends and yes that's true all right what about you jenny quesada mm. until i I until I learn English. Oh, wait, wait, I have a question for you. When are you going to see your children? For my, my window? No, but listen to my question because I remember you have COVID. So my question is, when are you going to see your children? Where are? When are you mm -hmm. going to see your children? No, when are you I mean, going to no I'm, I, okay mm -hmm. when are you going to hold your children 
in this moment, no. I understand. I'm That's why not. I understand. That's why I'm asking mm -hmm. you. I want you to answer with until. So when are you going to hold your children? Until, mm -hmm. until I sick. No, you are sick in this moment. Mm -hmm. So you're going to hold your children until you are okay. Until are you okay? I okay. Or until the doctor. No, um, when the doctor tells me I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Until, until the doctor, I'm okay. Until the doctor says I am okay. Yes. Yeah. So in this case, I am sick in this moment and I'm going to hold my children until I am okay. Or hasta que esté segura. Until I am safe. Until... Until, yes. the until pass the the negative. Oh, yes. Until you hear the negative of COVID. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good. Until I until I test negative. Until, until I test negative. Oh, yeah, that very okay. good idea, Susie. Okay, good. So we understand until. Next, the moment I got my first paycheck. I I realized that I began to uh -huh. I realized that I wasn't a child work. anymore. I wasn't a child anymore. Really? You you but what about this one? What? By the time what? I was 15. Because we have by the time I was 15, I, think, I realized that I wasn't a child mm -hmm. anymore. I think I had never saved any money. Yeah, okay, uh -huh. let's try to use the, the logic here. Until the moment I got my first paycheck, Mirna said an example that she has never saved money, correct? I have never saved money. I begin to understand value without money. Okay, let's do this. I began to understand the value of money. Entonces, what, what would it be number two? Until I started working part time. And learn how to get along better with people. Mm -hmm. I, think, I don't know. I had never saved any money. Okay, let's do that. I had never saved any money. Okay. As soon as I left home, yeah. what is as soon as? Tan pronto como. Yes. But remember, it's as soon as. It's not as soon as. Because people say as soon as. So as, as soon, soon as, as I left home. I had learned how to take care of myself. I okay. didn't have my, my own country. My own country. Okay. No. And, and, and listen, I understand because there are many possible options. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, personally, I don't like this because more than one is correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. But let's do this. But so I don't want you to understand this. I want you to understand as soon as because any any anyone's can be. Um, all these can be um, all this can be correct. So as soon as what do you do as soon as you wake up? I did. What do you do as soon as you wake up? Oh, 
Okay, David Hernandez, what do you do as soon as you wake up? I open my eyes. Oh, come on. I mean, <laughs> I take a shower. <laughs> yes, come on. Let's... I take a shower. <laughs> I do my bed. Yeah, and David, it's impossible to wake up first and then open your eyes. Because Why? actually, first you open your eyes and when you wake up. <laughs> mm. Because wow. he's saying after you wake up, uh -huh. you open your eyes. Also, in your example, right? But that's no, because you opening your eyes is waking up. Well, anyways, so what do you do as soon as you wake up? I do my bed. You do your bed. Okay, uh -huh. good. As soon as I wake up, I tell Google 10 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> yeah. Do you have Android? I, I like the Google talk. Come on. Google. Perfect. Or Alexa. Or Alexa, yes. I have, I have, but the, um, I have the Google one. Sonia Perez, what do you do? Sonia, do you, you're an engineer, I remember, correct? Yes. And in this moment, you're not working, I think, I remember. No. Imagine you're working, or when you work, what do you do as soon as you get paid? You can repeat me, please. What do you do as soon as you get paid? I can do you do buy this? some things. Do you do this? Ah, ya pagaron. Quizás pasado mañana voy a sacar el dinero. <laughs> I doubt nobody says that. It's like, hey. Yeah, pagaron and as soon as, oh, I don't know. What do you do as soon as you get paid? I go to the supermarket. Okay, good, yeah. Very good. As soon as I get paid, I go to the ATM machine and take out my money. And, and I, erase. I, get, I pay the bills. And I pay the bills. Okay, very good. So that is as soon as. Next, once I started sharing an apartment, what do you think happened? I have learned how to take care of, of myself. Okay, that's one, or I have learned how to get along better with people. I learned how to get along better with people. Yeah. Once I, what is once I? Una vez. Yeah, but you know the, the translation? At the moment, at the moment of something. Yeah, I would say that the Salvadoreño translation will be no más. Uh, nomasito. Nomasito. <laughs> yes. You know, nomasito te casas, you lose all your liberty. No, I'm joking. Yeah, once you get married, like for example, once you get married, what happens once you get married? You adopt new responsibilities. Yeah. You get more responsibility. Yeah, you get more responsibilities. You get your responsibility and your spouse responsibility.
correct? Yes. Yes, of course. All right, good. Next, after I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate better. Okay. Where is it? Oh. Yeah. Y otra vez, me imagino que va a estar mala esta, pero I forget the correct one. But like I said, for me, there is no correct answer here. Many are correct. So what I want you to learn is after I. Before I traveled abroad, abroad. What is abroad? Um, Outside of the country. Yes. Yeah. I didn't appreciate my own country. Yeah, that would be it. Until I got really sick. Otra vez until. Number one mm -hmm. was until, no? Oh, no, by the time. Didn't we do until? Two. Number two. Oh, number two. So until I got really sick, yeah, it seems until, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what are the correct ones because I know that. I hadn't. You're missing, you're missing one. Of course. Until I got really sick. I had understood, I had understood. the importance of the good health. Okay, mm -hmm. let's show the answers. So, mm -hmm. according, but listen, according to the program, mm -hmm. until I got really sick, I had understood the importance of good health. Here's a perfect example. And Jenny, tell me yes or no. Until you get COVID or somebody a family member it's funny it's it's not important mm -hmm. you repeat that yes okay like for example to some people covid is not important mm -hmm. until you or somebody you love gets it Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. Mm -hmm. So according to this, number eight is the last one. Number seven, before I traveled abroad, I didn't appreciate my own country. Mm. Hey, we got number six too. After I began an, a relationship, I, I learned, learned how, how to communicate I better. But como le digo, aquí I learned how to get along better with people. That one's good too. Once I started sharing an apartment, I learned how to get along better with people. Mm -hmm. Number four, as soon as I left home, imagínese esa era, I realized I wasn't a child anymore. No. Number three, the moment I got my first paycheck. I began to understand the value of money. Yeah. Do you remember what did you do with your first paycheck? I give to I give it to my mom. Mm. I remember with my paycheck, I invited all my family and my friends to eat. And in two days, my money was gone. <laughs> so like in the third day, mom, I need money. She said, no, you work now. Yeah, but I don't have money. So, but I invited you to eat. Yes, but I didn't ask you. <laughs> I have food in my house. So she was teaching me a lesson. Mm -hmm. And she gave me money, pero me cobró interés. 
So until that happened, and now, now, I thank my mother because it was a very good lesson. So now that I have a son and when he makes money, I will tell him, don't go crazy on women, on girlfriends, and on Nintendos. Until I started working part-time, I have never saved money. And number one is by the time I was 15, I realized I wasn't a child. I, I had learned how to take care of myself by the time I was 15. Como les repito, personalmente no me gustan estos ejemplos porque no siguen la historia. Entonces prefiero que mejor se... Por ejemplo, by the time I was 15, the most logical, I realized I wasn't a child anymore. I don't know, I, I had learned how to take care of myself. Why? Oh, because I, I didn't have mother and father when I was 15. Okay, good. But give more information on the story. But in this story, so, but okay, that was the correct. Ahí están las correctas para que no les vaya a dar malo el sistema. When I was, do you like Pink Floyd? Yeah, the better group. Yeah, Pink Floyd, um, the song Comfortably Numb. And he said, when I was a child, I had a fever. Many time clauses. Okay, more time clauses. Let's listen to the video. And find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog, but I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months, and then I lost interest in it. So, what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? All right, now you give me an example. It's like, let me give an example. When I was a teenager, I had long hair. Blue, green, pink, red, every color. And I painted my nails black and I put makeup on my eye, the eyeliner. When I was a teenager, I listened to uh, the patch mode and Guns N' Roses. But now I am okay. <laughs> when I was a teenager. Let me see, what about Orlando Morales? When you were in high school, tell me, what did you do when you were in high school? Uh, How were you when you were in high school? Uh, very complicated because I, when I was a teenager, I, I doesn't complete because 
I I used to work. Okay, no, but how were you when you were in high school? Okay, it's uh, not if you complete it or not. It's like, how were you? Were you, were you fat? Were you skinny? Were you a good uh, student? Were you a bad <laughs> student? Okay, sorry. Of were you course, a playboy? Uh, no, no, of course, uh, skinny, right? But suddenly, uh, showy. Okay, all right, good. Yeah. All right. Now, okay, let me see now a lady. Tatiana Beltran. Um, when I... Wait, let, let me finish. I haven't even asked you. Wait, 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 wait. Tatiana, how old are you? Uh, I am 27. 2017. So are you 37? Or are you 20? How old are you? 27. Oh, okay, you're 27. Can you tell, are you married? No, I am single. Can you tell me how you were when you were a teenager? Yeah, I were. I was. When I was a teenager, teenager, uh, were I were. I was. I was. Is mm -hmm. skill. Skinny. Were you um, a good girl? Were you a bad girl? Were you a happy girl, a sad girl, an emo girl? I don't know. I'm good. No, no, no. Talk to me. Give me complete sentences. Remember yesterday I told you. I go to Nandir. I was a good girl. I was a good girl. All right, good. All right, thank you. Noria Lisette, are you there? Good evening. Good evening, Noria. Hi. Hi. Can you tell me how you were when you were a little girl? A little. I was. I was very fat. Oh, yeah. He's cute. I, I am cute. I was cute. Yes. Yeah. I was cute. If, very funny. All right, good. Thank you. All right, good. So you understand? So when I was when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, when I was single, what changed? So um when pregúntenme, what changed? Okay? Um when I was younger, más joven, I partied a lot. Do you understand? Yeah, what changed? What changed? Good. My son. Why? <laughs> because, <laughs> no, good, good question. You see, that's how the conversation starts. Um, yeah, when I was younger, I partied a lot, every weekend party. But when my wife became pregnant, she was high risk. Because we lost, perdimos two babies before pregnant. Oh. So then this time, 
she was pregnant and it was high risk. And I said, no, I have to stop partying because I have to be with my wife 24 hours. And I, really? and I said, yes. And I said, I imagine Saturday night I'm partying with my friends and my wife home sleeping with pregnant. And I said, no, that's not correct. So I dedicated all my free time, all my time to my wife pregnancy. So eventually, eventually I stopped drinking. One year later, I tried to drink it. It was ugly. <laughs> so I'm happy. You are, your wife it had to be happy too. Yes, of course. No, but you know, I partied with my wife. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, we always partied together with my wife, but when she became pregnant, mm -hmm. I stopped. <laughs> and, you know, I had to do my part as a man. I remember when my son was born, I went to the supermarket and I bought, I don't know, I bought beer and tequila and said, okay, I'm going to celebrate. And I only drank two beers. And oh, they were nasty. So I don't know. So it's good. So I stopped. So eso, ¿se acuerdan que decía en historia? A turning point. Something makes you change. Yeah. So in my case, my son made me change. All right. Do you understand when I was? Yes. 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 All right. Cool. Cool. Okay, class. So uh, we'll continue a little bit more tomorrow. And tomorrow you will ask questions. Okay. Today I asked you questions. Today I asked Noria, how were you when you were a little girl? I asked Tatiana, how were you when you were a teenager? Tomorrow you will ask. Yeah. Like, yeah, for example, to okay. Mirna, Mirna is going to be a little bit difficult because She's 17. She's a baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm a teenager. So you My can't children. ask, you can't ask, Mira, how were you when you were young? You are young. <laughs> how, how were I me mean, when I was a baby? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, how were you when you were something? Or Mirna, maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow you can ask the class, hey, how was high school with when there was no no internet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, many people ask, you know, you can say like, how was the class when there was no internet? I hear background. You know, you can say, um, how was, uh, maybe because Mirna, you, you were born with WhatsApp. -y. For you, that's normal, right? Yeah. So uh, you don't you don't you you don't know about Chirato stop or or no. how to fold notes. Tripachuca. Tripachuca. And, <laughs> and, yeah, and, I know I know that game, but I I born with the technology. Yeah, Mirna, excuse me for my question. Okay, do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Have okay, do you know that when I was seventeen? Yes or no, man. It was very scary to call the girl we like because we had to call the house. And sometimes the father, hello? Answer the phone. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my God. Hi, may I speak with Mirna? Yes. Or, you know, that, that was very scary for a man. And I think boys today, they will never know that problem because no. now it's, hey, aquí estoy afuera. I'm outside. <laughs> But that's, that's bad because um, nowadays we don't have like the best communication with my It's father. true. Yeah, with our father. We have no option. <laughs> yeah. We have no option like, hello, because hello. 
<laughs> you just hang up, you know. <laughs> yeah. Why did you I did call, but your father picked up, and he sounds very scary. And <laughs> yes, and now today is like, hey, I am outside. Or, or más tonto aún, I am in the door. <laughs> I am outside the door. Really, you can't knock. Mm. That's how it was before. Okay, then class, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.